Welcome to episode 66, where I'll be showcasing a few more websites using a very old computer. Because this computer is too new for it. This old computer is even too new for it. But perhaps this very old computer can do the job. This because of that, I have to record straight from the screen. Here we go. I made this little website about Netscape Composer, which was a free software to create websites in. Netscape was the biggest web browser at the time. And I thought, oh, how nice of them to create this free tool to make websites. That's probably why my first website looked so incredibly crap, which you saw in the previous episodes, with capitals and everything. It was just an experiment that accidentally became a real website. This is a music website, hosted on a free host, with some uh, experimental colors. And unfortunately, you hear these weird sounds, turns out the software still doesn't record audio properly. So it looks like the next episodes will have to wait again, because I don't want to record the sound in a different program, way too cumbersome. Anyway, on this page you could listen to small mp3 excerpts from songs in very low quality, because it was of course still the year 2000. One. I cannot play sound from this old computer, so I cannot do any audio demos. But uh, most of the music um, is not invisible or has been heard by more people, so it's not relevant to this channel anyway. Another website on another free host. It contained MDB's Power Slide site, the first version of my Sky site and also links to websites on other servers, hosts. Let's view the power slide site. No rollover effects, because this website was also made in Netscape Composer. The graphics were made in Photoshop. Not very readable, but in the style of the game. It was a game I played quite a bit. Actually, it was the only game I played back then. I didn't play that much games anyway. What was cool that there were no borders. So there's some pretty crazy stuff going on. The third picture on the top. The car is standing on the sky. And here's a cheat. I even blocked it. With cheats you could fly and ride on walls and everything. Got all kinds of different stuff. And I, uh, rather than racing, I started to explore these places, virtual places, to see uh, what there was. The game is actually still available to download on GOG.com, I think, G-O-G. You can download and play the game if you want, for a couple of dollars. This website on yet another free host is more an art piece than a website. It was made in 2002. It's basically a click-through website with some images and the background matched and even diffused on the edges so the images are actually GIFs rather than JPEGs. And there are scans of uh, yeah art that I made once upon a time. Well, I think that's enough for today. See you in the next episode with more early websites.